Hi everyone. Uh, if you can tell, I'm having a really, really bad day uh, dealing with my migraines and my vertigo and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I, I look as bad as I feel. And um, even though talking about health problems isn't really the purpose of um, what I'm doing here with the Cambridge products, I uh, wanted to show some of the things that I go through while I'm on the program. I thought this might help you. Um, one of the reasons I gained so much weight um, was because with these problems, uh, with the chronic migraines and the imbalance and vertigo, um, it hits me almost every day. And um, my problems come because of the changes in the weather. I live in New England where the weather changes over and over and over again. And um, some people say, well, why don't you just try to move somewhere else? Well, that's first of all, that's easier said than done. But Secondly, from what I've been seeing with people that live in other parts of the country, the weather is going crazy in other places too. So, you know, where you think might be a safe haven, things are changing now. And for someone who's really, really sensitive to the weather and the barometric pressure changes, um, it seems like you're damned no matter where you go. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to share with you that even in my condition where I'm, I'm not well, where most of the time I have to be laying down. Um, sometimes I'm even too sick to, uh, to sit up in a chair. I just have to be in bed most of the time. That even with those problems, this, uh, the Cambridge diet program actually has helped me to lose weight. Um, I'll give you a little brief history of what's been going on with me. Um, four years ago, I started with these problems and, um, as the years have gone by, it's gotten a lot worse. And, you know, at first people thought, well, oh, he just doesn't want to do anything. He's lazy. Uh, he's got depression. He's, there's something wrong with him. Well, they were right about something being wrong. It was a physical problem. Uh, I've been judged, uh, made fun of, doubted by all kinds of people, you know, close acquaintances, family members, uh, doctors, which is the worst thing, the ones who are supposed to try to help you the most. Some of them just dismissed me as having depression or uh, thinking I need counseling. Well, finally, what I did uh, earlier this year, um, I went to YouTube and looked up some videos about the problems I have with imbalance, problems with um, blockage in the ears. Another problem with these um, conditions with the migraines, they can trigger um, symptoms of a sinus infection. If you can hear me now, I sound a little nasally. I feel like my head is this big. Um, your ears get blocked. Uh, so all those things can mess up. You Sometimes you hear yourself talking inside your head um, just from being so clogged. So my condition, the way I can best describe it to somebody, it's like having the worst sinus infection of your life and having a hangover at the same time, but almost never being able to escape it. I do have good days from, you know, every now and then. Um, right now it's the springtime, and if you've looked at the weather in New England, we have a few spring uh, snowstorms coming up. Um, but this time of year in the spring when the seasons change, it goes back and forth and back and forth. Sometimes we can go through three seasons in one day. And while that's happening, I am either expanding or contracting or I'm spinning around. I'm, I'm horrible. And um, I'm not very good for many things. So, uh, like I said, even though talking about my health problems isn't really the main focus of what I'm trying to do here with the Cambridge products, I just wanted to share that even in this condition, I have been able to lose weight. While I was getting sick four years ago, I have been putting on more and more and more weight to the point where before I started the Cambridge program I was 280 pounds biggest I've ever been in my life and because of that the more weight you have you gain health problems my blood pressure um, has to be controlled with medication now uh, earlier this year I started having cholesterol problems um, <clears throat> and there is medication that people take for migraines I can't take a lot of that because most of them have side effects that deal with other health problems I have, um, one, of, one of which is glaucoma. 
And the funny thing about that is I got that by taking nasal sprays as a kid treated for allergies and sinus problems. Most of those things are filled with steroids and the steroids raise the pressure in your eyeballs. Um, it doesn't bother everybody the same way but it bothered me severely and now I have to take medication to counteract that. So many of the migraine medications will also affect the pressure in your eyes. Um, I have also uh, bronchial asthma and some medications for migraines can really affect that. Um, I did try one medication, um, matter of fact I just took one pill and that one pill gave me severe chest pains like I was having a heart attack for almost three days. Before I could even take the pill I had to have an EEG done to make sure my heart could take it. Um, and when I told the doctor I was going to take it he just kind of looked at me surprised like really it bothered you that bad? And came to a point where he says, well, look, listen, I, I don't know what else I can do for you. You don't want to take this. You don't want to take that. Um, scary thing, um, sometimes they use depression medication to treat migraines. Well, a side effect of many depression medications is suicidal tendencies. And I won't even go that route. I took an antibiotic one time that had that side effect. And I took one pill of that and I had nightmares the whole night. I dreamed of other people killing themselves all night long. And I kind of laughed a minute. I said, well, I guess I love me enough that I wouldn't dare kill myself, but I think of other people doing it. So I got a little scared there. I said, well, what happens if I take pill number two? And am I going to change the focus to me? So uh, anyway, with all these problems, like I said, it's it's been a hard, tough road. Um, I went to a specialist in Boston again because I saw a special YouTube video about a treatment for some things with the ears. So going to Boston, I actually um, just recently, this past week, uh, I had some balance testing done where they did all kinds of things to me to see what exactly um, is going on in my head to give me these problems. And <clears throat> as they already knew the weather bothered me, they were just trying to see how the weather bothered me and from all the tests they did find that um, I'm telling the truth it really does bother me but they don't see anything going on in my head to cause these problems so the good news is yes it's documented it's true that I'm not making up my problems the bad news is they don't know where to begin to help me so that being the case, I didn't go in with high expectations. I'm just comforted to know that it's it's legit. It's on record now that I do have these problems. And um, I know I'm not the only one that has this. There are other people in the world that do. It's, it's a small percentage. But for those who are suffering like me or those with other health problems where you can't get up and exercise, you can't move around too much because either you're going to fall over or your body doesn't have the strength, this Cambridge program works. Um, matter of fact, I need to go um, measure myself and weigh myself today um, because I started my program on a Wednesday and today is a Wednesday. Um, but just to let you know, I did weigh myself yesterday just out of curiosity because yesterday I didn't have the dizziness and the headaches and um, the day prior to that we had another snowstorm and I shoveled snow four times in the same day and I was up and down the stairs uh, I live on the third floor, so I was going way up and down, way up and down, and doing heavy lifting and shoveling and, and who, name, you know, who knows what. So I wanted to see what my results would be doing that bit of exercise, because if you can exercise, you boost your results. So anyway, I went on the scale yesterday, and I am down to 258 pounds. I started the program at 280, um, and the last time I measured my waist, I had dropped uh, three and a half inches. Um, so I don't know what my measurements are today yet. I wanted to make this video first just to give some people some hope because you may think, well, what am I going to do? I'm just going to be fat and live with it and, and that's how it's going to be. It doesn't have to be that way. So um, this video is already getting kind of long. So I just wanted to share that and I hope that that can uh, give some encouragement to people who are struggling and um, and really inspire you to try this program because it worked for me. I'm sure it can work for you too. Thanks a lot.